Welcome to my Flash CS5 tutorial number 14. It's titled Click, Drag, and Drop. I have the CS5 program opened. I'm going to make a new file. We want Action Script 3, and everything else can stay as the default. OK. Go to your library panel make a new symbol. It's going to be square S-Q-U-A-R-E 1 underscore M-C. I'm making a 1 just in case eventually you want to make make a 2. OK. Close that panel off and we're inside of this movie clip square 1 M-C. Pick up rectangle tool. I'll go with a black for my stroke and a bluish color for my fill and I'm going to make a square hold the shift down and there's my square go back to scene one open the library panel and drag that square and put it anywhere on stage one close the library panel call this layer square S Q U R one. That's what I'm calling it. Square one. Going to lock it. Oops. Pick up your selection tool. Highlight it. Come over to the properties panel. We have to give it an instance name. It's an instance of. That's the movie clip, and we're going to call it the same thing. S Q U A R E one underscore M C. So now we can write script on it. If we didn't have that, we couldn't write script on it. Lock this layer. Insert a new layer. Call it action script. AS. Select frame one. Open up the actions panel. And type in this code. I'll just hold it here for a few minutes. You'd probably stop the video and type this in. I'll hold it here for a few minutes. Stop the video and type it in. Now we'll go through it. This is a on enter, it's an on enter frame. So it's each time we enter the frame and that in this case will be at our frame rate which I think is 24 it's called a stage add event listener the event listener is just a saying to the flash program listen for something to happen and what we're listening for is to enter the frame and each time we enter the frame we're gonna do this function here and we're calling it each time we enter a frame you could put anything in here you want Sam Bill Dick as long as whatever you put in here is exactly the same as you put here. So every time it enters the frame, it's going to do this function. Then it's got a bracket. This can be anything here. I put an E because it's an event. Colon, E-V-E-N-T, capital E. Close bracket, colon, void. You can leave this colon void out it's just a communications to back and forth between the computer and the programming uh, or you can leave it in I always leave it in because it may come handy and you may need it for some other functions you're doing all this from here to there should be blue event should be blue and void should be like a purplish color this function here there's the open curly bracket for it and way down here this last curly bracket is for that that function. So open curly bracket for the function, close curly bracket. I'm just going to type, enter this down. Now, inside of this is two more functions. This one here says square one underscore movie clip. That's the movie clip we cl we made. Period. Add an event listener. This time the movie clip is waiting for something to happen. And it's make, waiting for this most down event. That's when you click on the most, the most button. 
bracket, M-O-U-S-E, E-V-E-N-T, the M is a capital, the E is a capital, period. This is all capital letters, most underscore down. Then it's a comma, and just like up here, whatever you want to call it, I'm calling it drag the square, D-R-A-G-S-Q-U, as long as you spell it the same, keeping capitals, capitals, everything's got to be the same, bracket, semicolon, so when the most is pushed down, it's going to do this function. This is exactly the same as up here, except we got this different word in here. And there's the open bracket for this function. There's the close bracket for this function. And we're going to take that square one movie clip, period, start drag, small s, capital D. That should be in blue, start drag, open and close bracket, semicolon. That's the first event that's going to happen when we push the most down. While we got the most down, we can drag it and put it anywhere we want. The object, the square, here's the one that releases it. Uh, it says a stage event. It, this could actually be, you could actually copy this square one movie clip and put it in here. It would work equally well. But I'm just showing you there's two ways of doing this. S-T-A-G-E, period, add event listener. It's spelled exactly like this. Capital E for event, capital L for listener. It should be all blue. Then there's a bracket, open bracket. That's not blue. But most event, period. This time it's most up. So from here to there is all blue. The only difference between this and this is the most up or most down. This time we're going to drop the square. Close bracket, semicolon. And... That's going to call this drop square function. So here's the function. Function is always in a purplish color. There's that drop square. It's an event. It, just like up here, we could just put an E in here, and I'm sure it would work the same way. Uh, colon, most event. It's a most event. Close bracket. And there's that void again. Should you want to put it in, you don't have to. There's the close bracket for that function. And in this case, we're going to drop the movie clip square one. I said we were going to drop the movie clip square one. It's actually, the code is actually stop drag. So let's see if this works. Control, test. I'm looking back here. I don't see any errors. I click on it. I drag, I leave it go. I drag. So let's add let's add another object. Let's go back to the timeline. Go back to the library and pick up another symbol. Still a movie clip, but let's make it a ball. B A L L one underscore M C. We're going to do a, basically the same thing. Here's my ball movie clip. Just pulling this back up. And down here, I'm going to make a ball. I'm going to keep the black stroke, but I'm going to make the ball red. And I'm going to pick up my oval tool right there. Hold my shift down and make a ball. There it is. Go back to scene one. Open my library. Oh, not yet. Make sure all the layers are locked. Select the square one layer. Insert a layer. You got it, ball one, B-A-L-L-1. -L Select the first frame, open the library panel and bring that ball on. It does not matter where you put it. And you're keen enough now to know we need to put a instance name, B-A-L-L-1 -L underscore M-C. That's good. So now we can write the script on that. Lock all the layers, select the action layer, open the action panel, now pull this down, grab this right here and pull this down so we can see all of that action script as much as we can. And we want these two functions copied and put them inside of this function. So right here, click on there, I'm holding my, sh my key, my button down and go right up to the, there. So I don't have any curly brackets here. I have one open bracket there you can see a close, an open, and a close. Right click on it, copy. Click right here, 
and tab a few times down with your enter key. I'm doing this just to separate them for now. And I'm going to right click and paste it. And this space lets me know that's what I added. And all we need to do is change some names here. This is going to be ball instead of square. Let's do that first. This is going to be ball here. This is going to be ball. They're all ball ones. Uh, drag square. No, we want to drag ball. And we want to drag ball. And here, drag the ball. I said drag the ball. I really mean drop ball. You want to make these mean have some meaning meaning to them. It helps when you go back and have to work on this later on. I believe everything is done. Let's go up here and do this auto format. This finds major mistakes. I'm surprised it didn't drag that up. So let's click here and just do some backspaces to get that back up there. There. Go up here, control, test movie, test. I don't have any errors up there. I can click on my ball and leave it go and move it. I can click on my square, leave it go and move it. I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn.